was received. Weeks of high river levels have caused levees to fail in recent days. Storm Team 10's Kevin Orpert explains how levees work and why they can fail. When a river like the Wabash rises, it spills out of its banks and floods low lying areas along the river. Centuries of flooding like this have created the rich farmland that lies along the river. In some cases, levees have been constructed to protect farmland from flooding, like this levee near Prairieton. But levees can fail, wreaking havoc for those who thought the levee would protect them. Now, this is how levees work. Very simple demonstration here, a couple of blocks, and we put a regular stream flow here. But let's say we want to build a levee. So we put the levee down in the stream flow, and look at what happens. The water runs a little bit higher, and it also runs faster. So a river that is constricted by levees puts a lot of stress on the levee walls and possibly failure. If the water levels up for so long, there'll be a, there'll be a line through that levee. It can be kind of like jello. The firmness of the soil structure itself is not like it would be if it was dry. Levees have already failed in Lawrence County, Illinois, near Prairieton, Indiana, as well as in Davies County. Mark Twain wrote, the river will always have its own way. No engineering skill can persuade it to do otherwise. As long as the river flows, the danger of levee failure will be possible. From the banks of the Wabash with photojournalist Ryan Ward, I'm Kevin Orpert. For a look at an expanded interview with Eddie Adams, check out our website, WTHITV.com.